Seeker Adventures loads up the mountain bike and timber and heads to Davis, West Virginia, where we check out some of the Blackwater 100 track. I hook up with some friends. Up, fellas? Timber is ready to hit the track as we get ready to hit some creek crossings, mud bogs, and of course, we're going to work our way back to the famous Moon Rock. We may have got lost. Help! Come along with us as we check out and see what the Blackwater 100 had to offer. Timber, what are you doing? So Timber and I loaded up the truck, got the old e-bike back here. We're heading, we're heading to Davis, West Virginia, which is the home of the Blackwater 100. We're going to go out and loop some of the race course. We're going to go out and ride around to Moon Rock, get some video. Yep, this is Davis, West Virginia. This is the home place of the Blackwater 100. The Blackwater 100 ran between 1975 to 1993. It was a 100 mile race with many different challenges. Both bikes and quads lined the streets waiting for their opportunity to go out and tackle the track. They were mud bogs, rocks, hill climbs, creek crossings. They were close to a thousand racers and we're going out and we're going to check out some of the most famous parts of the Blackwater 100. We will share some of our experiences at the Blackwater 100. The track will look a lot different today, but one thing that won't look different is Moon Rock. That is about the most famous part of the Blackwater 100. So as we cross the creek, we're going to unload the e-bikes and we're going to show you how you too can come out and check out some of the old Blackwater 100 track. We'll give you some of the trail names and show you how you two can get back and check out Moon Rock. What's up, fellas? As you come into Davis, West Virginia, you're going to be looking for the Shop and Save. And to the left of the Shop and Save, you'll find Camp 70 Road. As you go back that road, you'll cross the little bridge, park at the very first parking spot on your left, and then after you're unloaded, you'll get back on Camp 70 Road, go back towards town, and you'll get on to Beaver Creek Trail. It's here on your right as you go back towards the bridge. This is part of the track as they came in to the finish. We're actually oh, running the, the track backwards, backwards as far as the that way the, the Blackwater 100 ran. We're going clockwise. The, the Blackwater 100 usually ran counterclockwise. This was the pit area. And then as soon as you came through the pit area, you would come to the barrels, which was the checkpoint or finish. The four-wheelers would run three laps, the bikes, the motorcycles would run four laps. In 93, the last year, they had 863 entries, they had 27 classes, the motorcycles ran 72 miles, the ATVs ran 40, or I'm sorry, 54 miles. It was the AMA Grand National Cross Country Championship Round 7. And as you can see, we're already starting right, to get into the soft, the... soggy bottoms. The AMA Grand huh? National Cross Country I know, Championship, awesome as we call the GNCC. Uh, maybe the rest of it here. The, uh, I must have forgot to put a, a bolt in one of these mounts and the camera just Average fell off. speeds was 25 to 50 Are miles an hour. <laughs> 
course was 18 miles long. No, go ahead. As we head out Beaver Creek Trail, and as you can guess, Beaver Creek is on our left. We're pretty much going to stay left the entire way back to Moon Rock. And then also, you pretty much stay left all the way back out, other than one spot. And you'll want to watch the rest of this video, and you'll see where we kind of get lost. <laughs> this is my good friend Bob and Wojo. They just got new e-bikes this year and they're a little hesitant of dropping it down into the mud and water of the Blackwater 100. So they're trying to keep it up high and dry. I'm going to go ride Road. <laughs> what good is it to have a mountain bike or ride a road? Yeah, whatever. You're serious in a, in a roundabout way. You're serious. These bikes are made for this. Right, Timber? So Beaver Creek Trail runs along Beaver Creek and then we're going to come out to a, a little road. We're going to turn left and then we're going to you're going to be looking for Jojo's Curve. And then after that, that's Good going to turn go. left go. onto go. Trail Road. We're going to follow the Trail Road all the way back until you have to make a decision. Well, I was working. I was working now. I, Bob asked me. He says, "What, what uh, power you got yours on?" And I'm like, "99 <laughs> percent." He says, "No, pedal power." I'm like, uh, "High, <laughs> duh." I'm on eco. Oh, no me. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't saving no batteries. Huh? Nope. What's he going timber? Yeah, I'm still on full battery. <laughs> I was on mid grade because it was. I remember like '93 that Kawasaki dude. I can't remember his name. People were stuck in the mud in this bog, and he did him a U-turn. So he went back and he come. Right here, Some of it. I don't know where this is exactly, but he seen them all stuck here. The lead guys and like Fred Andrews or something. I forget. But he turned around. He came back and he just got him an old wheelie on his KX and shot across that mud bog. I was like, <laughs> look at that dude, man. <laughs> anyway, I, I I experienced my first bottleneck here. It was on the power line on the other side. They came down, crossed the river. Oh, you went up the, I wasn't racing. I was, oh, the only oh. time I ever watched it. Oh, oh, okay. But they came across the, the river, the Blackwater River, and it came up through there. And there was a rock uh, cropping there. And they went into the woods to go around it. And that, that, they got a bottleneck there. It's the first time I ever experienced a bottleneck. <laughs> oh. uh, we, uh, we camped down in the field down by the bridge, and we had to put our cars around the scoop. So people want to run over you? At night, they were all over the place around here, man. They were everywhere. <laughs> all night long. Yeah. <laughs> Full drive, mud yeah. bogging. Yeah. yeah. The, the Main Street in Davis was shut down. You had really? to, oh, there's a hundred thousand people come here, man. I think yeah, I and that road across the bridge, it wasn't like that. I mean, it, you had to have a four-wheel drive to get up in there. It's oh, like was, a... It, yeah, and there was mud bogging going on everywhere all night long. Rock on. I gotta watch out the dog. We can't we can't overheat him. Come on, Timber. We we'll use you for excuse, okay? Come on, Mojo, get out of the way! <laughs> Holy cow! He'll get out of your way. Just run rub his butt a little bit. Right! Yeah. You can stay left. It comes right back up onto the same trail that we're going to get onto here soon. But I always go right here and then turn left onto Trail Road. I mean, oh, get a bark buster up your butt. How old you up here? He's holding us up. I'm just kidding you. Don't go. I'm just messing with you. I gotta go slow anyway. We can't overheat this dog. <laughs> I 
That's it. This is Trail That's Road. It. You'll make a left here. This will bring you out and you'll need to cross a little dirt road. It's actually a driveway. You stay straight on the driveway and then you'll come to a intersection. The intersection you will be able to do the easy loop or the expert loop. You want to stay left on the expert loop if you're wanting to get out to Moon Rock. If at this point you're tired and you're not used to maybe all these rocks because the once we come up out of the bottom we get out of the mud but as you can see we hit the rocks these rocks can be difficult Heidi and I have ran this loop many times but most of the time we would go down the beginner trail and that's just because of time management we usually down. don't use a e-bike or just right pedal on normal mountain bikes uh, but also it has a nice little creek that runs through live in that. the lower trail and that creek's name is yellow creek which therefore you can we, they so call needs and Heidi. that little bypass <laughs> yellow oh. creek trail oh crap this is black water hole. that's the black water hole right there Hey, Daphne will suck you up. You never know around here. So, if you ever run this trail and you want a quick route, you go right. Oh, okay. If you want to go to Moon Rock, oh, you go left. Yeah. I'm going to have to get a drink. Good job, Bojo. Thank you, you too. You getting wet? Not no. too bad? No, really, I don't know. It's not as heavy, it's not raining as heavy as I thought. I'm dry under my... Oops, oh, sorry, Timber. Let's put them together, huh? Yeah, if you ever come up here and want to run a short lap, you go that way. It takes you down to a nice little brook. It's pretty scenic. Mm -hmm. And it cuts the moon rock off. Come on, Timber. Come on, buddy. You having fun? Ooh, a little muddy. Good old black water mud. Well, Joe, you're cheating. That's not, that's not the fast line, I can tell you that. <laughs> Yep. You got Wojo out here tearing his new bike up. What's that? It was good to be able to cut on Nico like that. Yeah. Huh? I'm glad I threw my battery away. <laughs> you okay? Wojo's hurting. Go ahead, you guys. Go ahead. What? No, we're all right. No, go ahead. Big old jet. I think they're after us. There is something more fun than mountain <laughs> Especially if Wojo says, damn, what a better trail than this. And then he wipes out. <laughs> you okay, bud? He knew where we were at. He'd come right over to where we was at. Yeah, that's what YouTube said. <laughs> Don't go that way. Timmer, get out of that. You mutt. Not the place to go swimming. Look at you. There you go, Timber. Lay down in that. Lay down. Wash some of that crud off of you. Good boy. You did a wheelie coming out? Come on, Timber. Not nearly as good as you. I can remember when Billy 
got the e-bike and I took it there at the drum pit and for a ride I'm like I had a smile on my face immediately <laughs> I'm like this is fun <laughs> Sorry, ball. <laughs> I hear you don't know how deep it is. Right, Timber? <laughs> Pretty deep, huh, Timber? Hey, it's better safe than sorry. Timber, you're in my way. Oh, we're here. We're here, Timber. It's a little slick. Last time I was here, it's completely dry. Come on, bud. Come on. Oh yeah, yeah, that's in spots, you probably need it. One of those places where you need to hit a hard and you slow down. Yeah, because you don't want to bang them. Yeah, that's the way, like when I have my collar bro broke on a motorcycle, I would just hesitate. And it's amazing how much that, just a little bit of... Yeah. I need. Oh, Wojo's back. <laughs> Wojo's got his mojo. You better be careful. Last time you saw Brady crash. <laughs> oh, that's some good news, Kenny. Yeah. Well, the house that I inherited. Yeah. It sold some people from California. Oh yeah, I didn't know you were selling it. So you want to make a little money? Probably. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I don't know, Bob. Which way's best? I'm gonna go your way. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, uh, no! I threw my battery away. I think it was better, Wojo. Yeah. Yeah, I think you picked a better line here, Wojo. 
I, I mountain bike with a regular bike made the whole way, but one more time, one more time. That timber, come back across. <laughs> I don't know which way to go. Now I'll come back over here. Ooh, got a little rut. Got a little rut. That didn't turn out so good. Timber, where do I go? I have no idea. You're not helping me out here. Ugh. Don't come this way, go over there. Stay right. And then after that, I don't know what you're going to do. These cracks is the worst thing. <laughs> you don't know where to go. Oh no. Timbers not having no problem, are you Timbers? I don't know how, I, I e-bike, or regular mountain bike, this whole thing and I had no idea how. So you made the whole thing. I did a whole thing without stopping. Me and Heidi was out here once. Rut row. Think you got the line there, Bob? Oh, connect the old pedals. No, it goes right here and then it drops off into the woods. Ah, uh, the, the end of Moon Rocks right here. That's the... Oh, is it? You ever been to the moon before? Oh, yeah, I've raced this many moons, man. <laughs> many yeah. moons. Yeah, yeah. This is not for you. <laughs> yeah. Right. I think there's a go around Wojo. I think it's over here. Right, Timber? I was up here one time, well, with Heidi, and I found a spark plug right here. Yeah? Yeah, somebody must have filed a plug or something. Oh, yeah. It's, it's evidently been there a while because... Right. Mm -hmm. Back in the 80s, they probably found plugs all over. Yeah, especially the way they lug around them old T-Strokers. Yeah, we used to, even back in the, in the late 90s, you carried a plug and wrench. I still know. carry a plug and wrench. <laughs> <laughs> I've not filed a plug forever. <laughs> oh! It's, I don't think it's my Hoovercraft. I think it's my phone. Sorry. Who put that big old bump there? Well, that's the time for a new one. Yeah. <laughs> probably. I might need to get a little smarter. I might need to get a little smarter and figure out how to use it. Yeah. It worked fine for the last year until I did a software. Until I did a software update. Yeah, I actually did that. That's how I got it working last weekend. It ain't the easiest of trails to be not 100%, Bob. Who, 
Who picked this stupid trail? <laughs> Wait a minute, Wojo, I gotta get going. <laughs> what are you doing back here? Same, same thing as me? <laughs> I need to I need to get a different gear. I need to back her down a little bit. Oh, now I got a freaking Laura bush in my eyeball. <laughs> no, it's not you. I'm struggling worse than you are. Oh crap! Now my chain's coming off. What is holy cow? Oh, we're in the gear now, Wojo. I'll get out of your way. <laughs> oh. I don't know what's going on. All right, now we're moving. Oh, sorry, Timber. <laughs> I took Timber out. I'm all over the place. Whoa! I wish I could yell at like Wojo. I can't do it. Whoa! I sound like a sick dog. Wojo, holler for me! Uh oh. Sometimes that power is not a good thing. <laughs> Especially like back here on that hill trying to get going and it, it like this. Yeah. Oh my goodness. He's not wooing now. You okay, Wojo? He's not talking. Holy crap, what is this? I don't remember this. Oh, I can't do it, Bob. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, to the right right there, Bob. There's a way around. I didn't even see it. We took the expert row line. Hey, Bob, I think there's a line to the right right there. Which way did you go, Bob? That way? Oh, I'm going backwards. I don't remember this. I was in normal. That's the only reason I didn't make it. <laughs> I'm going to use that excuse. bother are we going right <laughs> I don't know why you didn't make that I mean you are slacking I think is that the trail <laughs> then that must be it Ah, oh, they gone. They gone. What's that? Okay. It's got to come out somewhere then. Timmer, push. What the heck are you good for? Why did I bring you along, dog? You're not gonna help me with the bike. I think we're off trail somewhere. I do not remember this. Oh crap. <laughs> I, I seen the trail go to the right at the bottom, but 
I did too, but I just thought I went left, man. Hey, I thought it was a go around. Let's go look, Timber. There is no troll out here. It looks like we're not the only one that got suckered. Help! <laughs> Timber, do you... Timber, do you uh, see the way to go? Don't fall, buddy. No, get off there. You'll fall down there and uh, mommy will be mad. Don't don't be doing nothing crazy. Ow. Oh. This big timber, we don't know where we're going. And now I forget how to get out. Go, bud. You're not helping much. Ow. Ow. Bob, did you ride down? <laughs> Man, you're pretty impressive. I think Wojo knew he was going the wrong way. That's why he didn't come up. <laughs> did you find it? Oh. That must just have been a scenic overlook. Get it out. Straight. Straight. Not that straight. Up this way. <laughs> Timber, you're getting me soaked. There's only one way. Straight. The other way is not way. We're going to go the right way this time, Wojo. The right way. Ooh, this looks interesting. Let's let's pick a good line, Bob. How far are you? I'm going way too slow of a gear, I can see that. Would you like to race this on a dirt bike, Bob? Would you like to race this on a dirt bike? Yeah. I don't know they had those back then. <laughs> you like the old 400 XR, don't you? <laughs> you, you still have that? Yeah. Right. How are you? I'd rather be up here in the rocks than uh, down there in that swamp. <laughs> For the 400? For the 400? You coming, Wojo? You coming? Oh, I don't like brutes. Go ahead, Bojo. Go ahead. Go ahead, bud. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. I don't blame you, Wojo. Peer pressure is bad. 
Oh, oh, that was bad. Bob left me. Oh, oh. Well, Jay, you can't leave us now. We're almost done. We need your help, man. We got to so, overcome this laziness. That is got, hurting man. my heart. Uh, well, Jay, won't you come <laughs> you to my house? Really making me if you would make me a bag lunch, I'll come down on Sat Sunday. You pack my lunch for me, and I'll, I promise you, I'll it's take easy. it every day. Just go buy your favorite food that you like and make it, and take it with you. You know what I do? I go to. I have good intentions. I found a secret. Get you a nice igloo cool, a small compact cooler. And always put two ices in it. Just two it. ice cubes? Two ices. Ices. Okay. One of them icy frozen okay. things. You know, you put them in the bottom. Then you take, then you take and uh, you you put everything in containers. Yeah. And then you take and put you a, a, a washcloth between. You the sound ices. way too organized. Qualify me. <laughs> you qualify me. That way you your bread. That. That's why your bread won't lay against the ices on your sandwiches oh. in the container. So it won't you don't be like your. Bread. You don't like your sandwich ices? I don't like it soggy. Like <laughs> real, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm just telling All you, right. man. Yeah. Then you take you something, you know, if you like fruit, take an apple and orange and put it on the side. Or I like cheese. little Debbie's. If you like Where do you put cheese, your little Debbie's at? Cottage <laughs> cheese. I take cottage cheese. I take apple. I take chunk cheese. You know, and sometimes mm -hmm. a sandwich. You know, you know what I take? I take wheat. my... I, I don't eat bad. I eat on wheat, you know. Well, see, that's where I'm with you. I take my wallet to work. <laughs> I go to some way. I okay, say, I get I'm wheat, uh, six inch wheat. Better, that's the only way you're going to eat better and cheaper. I'm too lazy. Okay. I, I wouldn't mind eating. It's pretty cheaper, easy. But I, I got to eat better. It's and freaking I can't easy eat, to do. I can't eat good. Because in between. Ezekiel's is expensive. <laughs> in the mornings, in between the bathroom and TV and your phone. Yeah. Surely you can pack a dinner bucket. Oh, no. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to go buy the stuff. Yeah. yeah. See, here's what my problem is. I have good intentions. I go to Walmart. <laughs> I get all this cool stuff mm -hmm. for about two days. It's awesome. Then the rest of it doesn't get made in it. It's wasted. That's how <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you can take for your lunch. camp stove with you, man, if you want to fix your shit out on the job. I can't Holy cow. Set it up right you on your tailgate. You are way too committed to fit this. Set it up on your tailgate, man. You'll have a feast Hey, do lunch. you not know... Chick-fil-A sells chicken every day. I know that. <laughs> All right, whatever. All right, go, Ojo. Let's see what, how much energy you got. I don't think it's, well, just... I don't know how much cheaper it is, but I can't. Uh -huh. I mean, it's kind of what it said, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, go ahead, Ojo. No, now I want to see what your sandwiches does for you. No, go ahead. Now I'm no. peer pressuring you. I'm not, no, I'm not going to go until you go. It is, man, oh, I agree with you. I'm just too freaking lazy. I'm just kind of trying to change it. I do, I do, Wojo. I just need you to come and do it for me. I am. I got to take cholesterol medicine every stop. Uh, now I got to go to, great, now I got to go to Walmart and buy wheat bread. Well, Joe, you said you wasn't going to peer pressure me now. Who was that? Who? <laughs> no baloney for you? Fresh roast beef. I used to like fresh roast beef. I like Reese Cup sandwiches. They got peanut butter and on both sides they got chocolate you ever heard of it oh <laughs> got you that just messed you all up did it talking about reezy cups they got it <laughs> making you hungry what not <laughs> yep no you're good i said i'm gonna stop and let him get in the water oh down here yeah it's in our blood, brother. Yeah, you got, you, you gotta love it, don't you? Yep. <laughs> Ow! Yep. You gotta love America. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to. <laughs> Timber, you want to get in? Get in, get in. All right. 
<laughs> you feel better? There you go. Wash your body off. Good girl. Is it a boy or girl? Boy. Boy, yeah, boy. We got he's our boy and we got two other girls. That's what I thought, yeah. But he looks like a girl. They all everybody calls him a girl. <laughs> don't don't let that bother you, Timmer. You just keep rolling. <laughs> don't change on us now. Yeah, don't change on us now. Uh, Where the heck's video. the bridge at? It's gone. What? It there is a bridge right there. Yeah. Uh, I I'd say it got washed out. Yeah. Is there any rocks in there, Bob? I'm off of it. Now. What did you do? Carry your bike across? I went. Almost got it. <laughs> Woo. Oh, that's a good one. That's almost Wojo like. Right. What's that? Oh, we've been practicing trying to holler like you, but we can't do it. Do it, do I? Oh yeah, you got a good holler. <laughs> we go, we go up the road now. We go up this way, Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I figure. I'd probably be pushing. Yeah, I'd be pushing it back there. You get to that point, you get to that point, there's just no other choice. You just gotta push. <laughs> oh, it's cold. But then after a half an hour, you don't even think about it? Yeah. You do know those that you do know those batteries are only good for two years. You must as well get all you can out of it. <laughs> I might be lying. I think it might be good a little bit longer than that, but yeah, a thousand dollar battery ain't nothing. Timber, you want to get in the river? You want to get in the river? You okay? Don't do that. I got, almost got it. Yeah. I almost got it. I think I'm gonna take. Some people that say like, you know, they say, uh, you know, that takes the exercising out of it. And I'd say like, I don't really care, man. I didn't want to exercise. I just wanted to go biking, man. <laughs> you know. It was so much more fun to be able to actually pedal up them hills and push. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jeez, I'm, I'm, I got rubber legs now. You know what I mean? You know. I'm gonna take timber over here in the river. I'll be right back. Go, bud. All right, Timber, get in. Wash off. Now get in. Come here. Come here, Timber. Come here. You are a mess. Come here. Come here. Timber, come here. Come here. Come here. Hey, come here. Let me take this collar off before you get even worse. All right, get in. Get in. Go lay down. Good boy. Are you done? Well, thanks so much for watching as we mountain bike the old Blackwater 100 
Trail in the Canaan Valley out of Davis, West Virginia. Make sure you like and subscribe to, cha to our channel. And you can do that by here at the ending card. Just hit the logo in the center and it will take you to our page so you can subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.